we've done so far is we've gone ahead and uh, after all the visualization, got him numb, prepped his lower teeth. Um, I used the uh, preparation reduction guide, which is a putty matrix, basically from the diagnostic wax up to check my reduction. Uh, once we've done that, we use carbide finishing burrs to smooth everything. I've used the diode laser to resect the lateral wall, as well as do a little gingivectomy on tooth number 23. Um, and then we use the Exposil to do the retraction, along with a little viscostat to just kind of uh, for the hemostatic parts of it. So the next step we're going to do is just to make a, uh, a final impression. We're going to use a polyvinyl um, impression material. We'll talk about that as we go. But again, the most important thing is making sure that we've got control of everything to this point, which we do. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, make an impression. And we just want to keep this material moving. Love this light material because it just flows so nicely into the sulci. Remember that these materials are thixotropic, so they flow when you use them. And we're just going to come in now, seat it. Three and a half minutes set. I don't mind waiting a little bit longer on these big ones. Um, three and a half minutes when you first start doing upper arches might be tight. So, you know, if you need a little bit more time, you might want to think about using something that has a little longer set. The shorter acting ones are great for, you know, one or two units, but you do got to really be moving to use three and a half. Of course, if you can do it, patients love it because uh, it's in their mouth a whole lot less time. On the area, just got to keep a watch right here. But I still got my margin, just a little. That's where we did that little repair. Everything else looks good. We've got our wax up. Showed you that last night. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use this matrix now. And the first thing you want to do no is notice that I do have some space where those implants are going to be. And I'm going to talk about that because I'm going to make him a second little provisional on that left side that's actually going to snap over the premolars that will guide my periodontist. We're going to go ahead and uh, just slide this in, just ensure we've got good seating. And we want to make sure that, that bottoms out on the tissue, which it does. It's the restorative dentist's job to show the surgeon where we want the teeth. And so if he doesn't have any kind of surgical guide, he could put the implants in, it, in a place that we couldn't put the crowns that's going to be ideal for occlusion. So sometimes it's a no-brainer, but in this case, it's pretty important because it, like on this upper molar, you've got that maxillary second molar that's kind of out of the plane a little bit. Well, we want to make sure that that implant is such that we'll be able to get a good stop on that tooth. And so that just gives us a little extra way to communicate. As we're doing crowns like we're doing here, crown and bridge, we're going to leave that about a minute and a half, something like that. I can kind of feel when it gets a little soft. And then I'm going to lift it up and then push it back down. And I'm going to kind of go on, off, on, off, on, off with it. Uh, pick away the little residual. And then uh, you'll see we'll pop it in, cut it in a couple pieces, and we'll get to that. But with veneers, um, we actually lock it on. And when we did the. Uh, the last uh, Endian was on veneers. We showed the shrink, shrink wrap, wrap technique. Still have the same matrix, but we'll spot etch the teeth and then lock them on. So with crown and bridge, we don't want to do that because we want to have, have access to the oximal embrasures. And we can cement these in a way that they can uh, be removable. Okay, so my little test piece is already starting to set up. So we're just going to pop it up, lift it up, just like that, pull it out, get all the little excess away that we can feel. So nothing's in the back of his throat. 